Hello, my name is Reginald, and today, today, I have a house all myself. And you know what? I felt like watching a little show. A little bit about me. I'm 45. I would like to move somewhere closer to the equator. And as of two days ago, I am divorced. So now, I have all this time and this big house to myself. She took everything except for TV, VCR, and my tapes. And also, I was hiding some bottles of wine in, in secret, secret spots around the house. But I didn't tell her. So anyways, I plugged in my VCR. I grabbed first tape and I cracked open two bottles of wine. And here we go. Hello, I'm Willie George. The Bible teaches us that a church, ministry, organization, home, family, any group of people who've come together for good purposes cannot be destroyed from the outside. So these tapes, series of this church, and I tell you how to live, but through Western stories. And you know what? I think Westerns are pretty badass. Good, bad, ugly. Badass. Uh, 310 to Yuma, even though it's by a train. Pretty badass. Tombstone. Badass. Not the best frozen pizza, but definitely uh, top five. So you got four guys. You got Marshall Bill. No nonsense. Law abiding. Guy doesn't like fun time abiding. Uh, punch you if you're just drunk reaching for your gun. I didn't know that was illegal. Elmer, he's a blacksmith. He is named after the glue he smelled as a child. Yeah, you'll you'll understand. Elmer, you and Lefty stay outside. Cover our backs. Lefty stay outside. Cover our backs. <laughs> Lefty, he's the barber. It's shitty eyes, told nerd. And then last there's Nicodemus. Funny name, and he asks a lot of dumb questions. What are you talking about? Just what are you getting at? Are you sure? What word starts with a P? What are you talking about? The B-I-B-L-E. And what does that spell, boys and girls? Bible. Basically, these guys, they're the only law in a lawless town where anybody can be deputy. Seriously, anybody. Look. Look at this guy. You think he's qualified to be a deputy? Thank you so much. Look at this guy. You think he's qualified to be a deputy? Well, think again, because they both are. In this episode, there's a bunch of guys who got done with the cattle drive, and now they want to get loaded, blow all their money at bar. Can I blame them? No. Have I done that before? Absolutely. Last construction job I had, I spent all on whiskey. Little Caesars and attorney fees and get guess take, give me wildest guess what was the best use of my money? It definitely wasn't the attorney because he fucked me over. Okay, things about westerns: the kick ass, the cool men being cool. Simple times where attorneys they don't they don't fuck you over. And uh, also prostitutes, as seen here. So, uh, you know, turn this on. It should have some promise. There is a law against carrying firearms and dry gulch during this time of the year. Now, you can check your guns at the jail. When you're ready to leave town, we'll be happy to give them back to you. We don't care much for your law, Marshal. Mister, it's for your own protection. We don't care much for your law. Yeah, you know, if I relate to anybody during this, it's this guy. He gets it. No rules. We had three cowboys killed last year in gunfights, and we're doing everything we can to keep it from happening again. Yeah, so three cowboys died, and I was the result of all of them. Bam. Hits him with a gun. One guy dead. So there we go. Already 33% of last year. So now we're introduced to the bad guy. 
Uh oh. What is his diabolical plan, you may ask? Is it to sleep with another man's wife and ruin a perfectly stable and spontaneous marriage? I don't know. Maybe. It's a shame that lawmen can't allow fun-loving people to have a good time. It's a shame I can't have a gun on a bar. Yeah, tell me about it. Bartender gets it. He's like, you know how much more business I get if people were killing each other in my bar? Oh my god, like, it's so much more. I could hire like four more prostitutes. My coffin company would just just skyrocket. Well, I'd like to be rid of them, but that's not an easy thing to do. Sure it is. Well, mister, that's what you think. I've seen some pretty tough men come up against Gutter and his deputies. Cutthroats, fast guns, wolves. They always win. Cutthroats, wolves, these guys, they don't fuck. Nicodemus fucks. I mean, look at him. Really fast, go, oh. Mr. Music, real fast. Oh. Yeah. Get a little bit faster. Oh. Alrighty, we're all done. Oh. One, two, oh. three, four. Oh. Oh. We're all done. <laughs> but no, these guys, they don't fuck. They're too busy kicking ass. Man, police were so much cooler back then. Killing wolves, punching 16 year olds, or a bar getting plastered. If I can get rid of Gunter, does it mean an increase in your business? More than likely. So the plan is kill or get rid of the marshal, and then there will be more gambling? Aren't they worried that, like, without law, that, like, Five of them are gonna game gang up and then just like take over bar. Like, was one fat bartender and one greasy old man that has a vendetta against not carrying a gun up bar gonna uh, do against say I don't uh five guys that ride horses and eat snakes all day? I mean, these two guys would fold like a pair of twos. Reese Malloy. I'll handle your gambling operation. Well, Mr. Malloy, you get rid of Gunner if you get rid of Gunner. You got a deal. So anyways, we go to commercial break. Only there aren't any because this was on TV. This ain't no bonanza. <sighs> God, what a great show. Hello, Reginald. Hey, it's me. I guess you know that. Real quick, how good was Bonanza? Have you been drinking again? That's besides the point. We used to watch it all the time. And you know what? It, it kind of reminded me of us. You know, Bonanza, there's a problem on Ponderosa, but you know what? They worked it out. They weren't always perfect, but they 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 worked together because they knew they're a family, and they and guess what? They loved each other. I I I was thinking of you and uh, Bonanza. Okay. Um. Goodbye, Reginald. I love you. So anyways, this grease ball decides to start splitting up the gang. And typical form, it starts with the fattest and smartest because easy prey. Like a little uh, a rabbit in a field with no holes. Sometimes rabbits, they go into holes like when they're hiding. Jesus Christ, I fucked up. Next! I just need a shave. Well, certainly. Sit down here and I'll give you the best shave in town. Best shave in town? You're the only shave in town. Dumbass. I understand you're a deputy marshal. A uh, deputy town marshal. I'm just deputized to help him with all the city business. Oh, that must be frustrating. Frustrating? 
Are you kidding? I love every minute of it. I love every minute of it. Yeah, especially compared to being only a virgin town. And for a living, I touch face and hair cowboys. Been on trails for six months at a time. It's it's like you're handling old meat and f- a fucking uh, what buildings, man. Uh, fucking concrete, wet concrete and bugs. That's all. Also, this guy doesn't need a shave. Bitch. Red flag number one. Gunner left you outside with that uh, ignorant blacksmith. <laughs> You're a much better man than that. Elmer Barnes is my friend, and he's not ignorant. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, what I meant was that uh, he's not a learned man like yourself. Well, Elmer hadn't had much schooling. A real barber of the day would have slit his throat talking shit about his dumb friend. Like, you guys stick up for your dumb friend. What do you mean? That the marshal ought to recognize you for what you are. Oh, you're on a much higher level than the blacksmith. So afterwards, there's a grease ball and a red wine coat. He goes, well, oh, hang on. Speaking of red wine... Ugh, fuck, that's good. <laughs> Anyways, so now he's going to go over the uh, glue sniffer blacksmith. It's for you. You look so hot. I got you a cold pitcher of lemonade. Red flag number two. Guy you never met. Never heard of. Guy shaved twice in the same day. He brings you a half gallon of lemonade, a little metal pitcher. It looks like a minor league hockey trophy. You see, would you, uh, let me tell you, break the fourth wall. Would you ever drink from that? No. Neither would I. Uh, if you hadn't have been there, the marshal would have had a bullet in his back. That's my job. I'm supposed to cover the marshal's back when he goes into scrapes. Yeah, he's always out front, isn't he? Gets all the glory, leaves you in the background. If there's something blacksmiths want, it's definitely glory. Hey, hey, where did you get those horseshoes? Oh, the world famous blacksmith Elmer the Glue Sniffer. Did you notice? I wore them, I put them on my horse. The horsey wore them. The horsey wore them for a whole two months. Wow. Those are good, uh, horseshoes. Don't guess he told you about the reward. Reward? Oh, yeah. That, uh, cowboy you nabbed last night had a price on his head. A $100 reward. You didn't know about that. No, I didn't. Also, don't they usually have rewards posted on, like, bulletin boards? I mean, what other things are they posting in the West? Like brunch specials? Uh, lost dogs? I don't think so. Well, I just figured that uh, you'd be the one to get the reward, since it was your gun that uh, took him. This grease ball just sounds like a fucking union rep. Well, I do, yes, sir. I can spot a man with ability. And you are underpaid, underrecognized. And unappreciated. <sighs> I fucking hate you and your reps. The B I B L E. Well, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E. And what does that spell, boys and girls? Bible! All right, and we're all done. One, two, three, four. We're all done.